don't take that for granted. Uh, the fan support, the fan uh, support from the community, um, the local celebs and uh, other celebs that fly in from, uh, from all over the country to, to support this. Uh, we know they get pulled in a, in a thousand different directions and uh, we, we're really humbled and uh, we're, uh, we're glad everybody's here and for another year. And um, yeah, hopefully we can raise, as, as Charlie said, as much money as we can for, uh, for our two charities. And uh, looking forward to having uh, another fun day. Weather's great. Uh, another fun family day. So hopefully everybody enjoys. Thanks for the media also for for their support and uh, supporting the game and uh, putting the word out. And so I appreciate you guys helping out. Awesome. And uh, we'll pass the microphones now. Get some questions in. With oh, I did forget. Our girl Laura Beth needs to be mentioned every year. Where, where is she, Laura Beth? Hey there, Dan. You're the best. Uh, she, without her, this whole thing wouldn't happen. So she's uh, she's the best. Appreciate it. No question. No question. Uh, Dak, we'd like to start by asking you a question. Uh, you're the leader of your football team. What we'd like for you to do is give us a quick scouting report on some of your teammates that are here in terms of their skills that might or might not translate to the diamond. Feel free to take some shots. Yeah, I definitely don't see them translating to the diamond. Uh, <laughs> Good at what they do, uh, and I definitely appreciate that. Uh, Travis, Sean, uh, Jeff, Byron, AB, Kayvon, Zeke, of course. I uh, definitely appreciate uh, what they do on the field, but a lot of them on the other team, so I'm actually glad they're not on the team. So, Blue uh, Sox most likely to win this team. All right, I, I like a little trash talk. That's good. So, here for rebuttal from the white team, I'd love for Zeke for you to address what Dak just said about his own baseball playing abilities and maybe any. You know, uh, analysis you'd like to give us about Dak Prescott's game? Uh, I think we did. Uh, what about this? Uh, what about that blue squad? The white squad? The whole day. You know, in terms of being a, a two-sport athlete, Devin Harris would love to ask you a question. Devin, you're a guy who looks so at ease on a baseball diamond, yet so at ease with a ball in your hand on a basketball court. So what advice would you give to athletes who maybe are trying baseball for the first time about being a dual-sport athlete? Uh, if you're anywhere near Jalen, get out the way. <laughs> I was growing up with him earlier, and let me tell you, I've seen him on the basketball court. He's a one-speed athlete on the baseball field. It's dangerous. And, uh, you know, I'm, for guys that, you know, locked in their contracts, they're, they're okay. For guys that are not, run for your life. All right, that's good advice, though. If you wouldn't mind handing the mic down a little bit, I'd love to know about Demarcus Ware's baseball game, one of the all-time great Dallas Cowboys. How do you feel about your uh, presence on the diamond there, Demarcus? I think we're going we're gonna to win this game. Every single time I played, we won. I just tell them that the white team that. Um, but now I played in high school, and uh, that was actually my first sport until I blew my shoulder out and started playing football and then drove into football. So I did an opportunity to swing back to that. What a weird role reversal that is. An injury drove him from baseball to football. Yeah, and Skin, while you're talking to him in the dugout tonight, try to talk him into coming back and playing for the Cowboys right. one more year. We, we, we all, you look like you can still play easily. Very persuasive. Uh, Sean Lee, uh, I know that you're a student of sports where you're bra always breaking down film. How much prep work have you put into this game, and is your brain ready for this? I've put in zero prep work. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know nothing of baseball. When I played, I struck out a lot, threw my helmet on the ground a lot, threw the bat. Um, so I'm here for, for uh, moral support today. Hey, didn't you play baseball for Chuck Greenberg, who now runs this Rough Riders facility out here? That's why I'm not playing anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was great. I played, but he knew, uh, he knew I had a little bit of a temper. It wasn't very good, so. All right, well, I want to ask a quick question to Dwight Powell, because he's been doing some world traveling, and Dwight is uh, actually maybe the best baseball playing Canadian I know, former MVP of this game. I understand you hit a home run in batting practice the other day like to know, one, about your trip around the world, and number two, what we're going to see from you tonight, brother. Uh, trip around the world was good. I mean, didn't actually visit around the world, but saw a lot of different places that um, opened my eyes to kind of different things going, around, uh, going on around the world. So um, hopefully this this event can continue on for years and years. And I know there are definitely people all around the world, but just even in our backyard that, that can use the help, and, and the community supports us so much. It's great to give back. And seeing kind of what's going on around the world kind of reinstilled the energy to want to kind of contribute to that and help. Um, as far as my home run yesterday, uh, hopefully that wasn't a flash in the pan, but uh, me and Wes went to the cages earlier and wasn't as easy as it was yesterday, so we'll see, we'll see. Speaking of home runs, Travis Frederick is a guy who's hit some home runs in the Reliant Energy Home Run Derby that the Cowboys have every year, so 
Travis, you got a chance to hit the ball out of the park tonight. Have you, have you put a lot of thought into what your approach is going to be? Well, this year uh, the home run derby didn't go so well for me, so I'm hoping that I'm able to flip that around, take the, the things that I learned from the home run derby there uh, and apply them here today. Uh, batting practice went pretty well for me. Uh, we'll have to see uh, how it happens uh, out on the field. Travis, that was a very scripted answer. Thank you. All right. <laughs> All right, I'd like to now throw it over to Mike Basick. He, uh, of course, works with me and been over at 105.3 The Fan. And, Mike, it's your job to, as a pitcher, serve up hits today which is a very unique perspective. I'd like to hear what you think about all that. Well, as uh, Dirk has said on the radio station, that's what I do. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm used to the ball uh, getting hit and then uh, getting my glove up and protecting myself. Hopefully there's no uh, Clay Matthews incidents oh, no. here. So I'm going to avoid that if possible. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that now? Did that change things for you a little bit? All for charity? I'd love to, uh, if we could get Herschel Walker to grab a microphone here, the great Herschel Walker in the house. I'm, I'm applauding that. Herschel, you look fantastic, and uh, you look like you can still play a game, if not get in the octagon or maybe in the NFL or baseball. What's your approach going to be tonight? Well, I watched the game last night, so I, I, uh, I go out and have fun. Do you have, a, have you played baseball? Did you play baseball growing up? Yeah, I used to play. But I was a center fielder. Oh, you, so you had some speed. That's about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for being here and uh, to the. To the